Hey everyone, Jero Lights here, and Zippo's known for their windproof lighter. That's why we collect Zippos, is because of their windproof lighters. However, as a collector, I enjoy anything with the name Zippo on it, whether it's something that they manufactured or distributed, or it, maybe it's a marketing tool. If it has Zippo on it, I want it. But sometimes those are kind of hard to find. You don't know what you're looking for, because if you go on eBay and type in Zippo, 99.99% of what comes up are lighters, naturally. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the non-lighter items that I've accumulated over my years of collecting. Some of it is uncommon, some of it's more common, but there are some neat non-lighter Zippo items out there. So make sure to like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate the support. Welcome to JRO Lights. So let's start off with some of the more common things that you'll see on eBay. You'll see the rules, the green keepers, the key holders, magnifying glasses, knife, belt buckle. And the reason why those are more common when you go on eBay and search for these items is because they were used as marketing tools. They were used for advertisement. A few other things that are common, you have the zip light, the hand warmer. You can still get these on Zippo.com. They have a variety of electronic and manual hand warmers. You have your cases. Here's a paracord pouch. The classic leather. The new tactical. I really like the tactical pouch. Zippo fuel canister. Letter opener. Comes in a really nice box. They did make several variations of the letter opener. The Zippo multi-use tool knife and several other outdoor usages. I did a review on this one. And every once in a while you'll find things like this. This is a cigarette pack holder. Uh, this is actually the only one that I've found, have seen. There are other things that you can find on Zippo.com. Here's a rugged lantern. The, I believe this is the first edition. They have another one out there on the website right now. I have a Zippo Axe in the garage. Also, as a collector, I love collecting signs like these. Uh, stores would have those signs on top of their displays or on their front counter. They'd have signs like these. Here's an authorized dealer sign. There'll be little signs like this as well. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it closes and opens. Also, you find little displays like these sitting in retailers. As a non-smoker Zippo collector, I don't have to worry about flints anymore. I got plenty of flints here with that display. Here's a Zippo license plate. I've seen so many different variations of these Zippo license plates. So that's, uh, if you go to a Zippo co convention, Pretty much everybody has a Zippo license plate on their vehicle. While we're talking about signs and displays, my walls, I don't like any negative or empty space on my walls. So posters are really cool. Posters are kind of hard to find online. I got these at Lighter Palooza 3. There's our puzzles and some more posters. Zippo signs are also the coolest. That's my favorite sign. I do like to frame any magazine ad that I do have. Those are fun to collect. Some more signs. Zippo sold these cool little displays on their website about 10 years ago. I think I got around 2010-2011. I also like collecting store displays too, whenever I see them. Zippo does have apparel. So if you go to the museum store, you can get hats or t-shirts and hoodies. Unfortunately, they don't sell them online, but every once in a while on their website, they'll do like buy this Zippo and get a beanie. Uh, last year, they had several promotions like that. 
I got several apparel items like this neck warmer here. I think I got this, I forget where I get this towel from, but it was from one of those promotions. My favorite apparel item is this tie. The coolest tie. If I had another one, I'd wear it. So that's if, if I ever came across another Zippo tie, I'd open that one and I'd, I'd wear it on camera. So that's a Zippo tie. I wish I'd get another one one day. Here's a little hand warmer marketing tool. Some string bags. They had this at the Made in Bradford event this past July. Now here's a cool bag. I took this on an airplane. I had this filled all the way up with Zippos. And they, they looked at me real funny, but I followed the instructions that I gave myself through my Can You Carry a Zippo on an Airplane video. Check that video out. But Here's another Zippo bag. It's a pretty big bag. I carried this around in Lighter Palooza 3. As a NASCAR fan, I love Zippo die casts. I have a couple of them. There's several varieties out there as far as Zippo die casts go for NASCAR. You have trucks with just the Zippo logo on it. This is Bobby Hamilton. Jimmy Spencer was the... Oh, oh. Try not to break my car there. Jimmy Spencer is was the primary Zippo car driver. So I, I only got two of those die casts, but I also have this signed poster, poster card of Jimmy Spencer and number 12 car. And while we're on the subject of Zippo cars, here's that Zippo die cast from 1996, collectible of the year. This runs about 100 to 125 on eBay. And a must have for any Zippo collector is this Zippo Holgate wooden toy car. I think it's super cool. They have several editions of this. I think they have an employee edition. This, I believe, was given to big vendors. Now let's kind of get into the knickknacks, just kind of the random Zippo stuff. So here's a Zippo wallet. I got this about 10 years ago on Zippo.com. The most uncomfortable wallet I've ever carried around. This was like having a steel plate just on your rear end. Thankfully, they've rebooted their wallets. I do have a, uh, a wallet that they do sell online right now. I don't know where it's at right now. But they have a lot more comfortable lighters now than they did when they first came out. I do love, like I said earlier, I like some displays. Here's a Zippo magnetic display. Here's a Zippo acrylic stand with Zippo on it. You can find these acrylic stands on eBay for a lot cheaper without the Zippo on them. And I do like this display. This holds bigger boxes or Zippos that are in bigger tins or boxes. I do like this display here. One of the coolest things that I've just kind of found out in the wild was this Zippo camera. The Zippo camera, it's a Canadian version, so it's not only in English, but it's also in French. Zippo did have a line of watches. Uh, I've had a couple of them throughout the years. But the coolest Zippo watch of all time. Now, one of the coolest watches Zippo has ever come out with, or Zippo Japan, more accurately, is the Time Tank. Beautiful. I love Zippo Time Tanks. Zippo pin. They made classier looking pins as well. Zippo card, a uh, business card holder. Can't really tell through the camera, but it does say Zippo down there. Zippo coasters. Uh, this is probably one of the classiest set of coasters that I've, I've seen. From the 70th anniversary, I have Zippo puzzles. Showed those earlier displayed. I mentioned carrying Zippos on an airplane earlier as well. So you have a Zippo Otter Box where you put a Zippo with fuel in there. Here's also a Zippo Air Case that holds two Zippos. This I'm excited to share with y'all. The 1994 Zippo Family Store Museum video. From my understanding, they have this video playing on a loop. 
uh, in the museum. And I have a VHS player. I need to find the right chords. Hopefully it works. And uh, I'd be happy to share this video with y'all. Here's another knickknack that I found at the Visitor Museum. It's just a little fun shut the box game. I haven't read the instructions. I don't know how to play it yet, but I just thought it was cool because it had Zippo on it. And last but not least, we have all the little stuff. Oh, except for that. That's my dusting rag. Just here are some acrylic flames that you can put in your Zippo. We have a Zippo dog tag. 75 year pin. I think at one point in time this lit up. Just pricked myself there. Here's a Zippo button. Zippo ruler. Here's some keychains. 85th Windy. Got a I really I like this one. I think they still sell this one in the Zippo store. Zippo car. Zippo car. Shout out Riley66. 60th anniversary keychain. Here's a bottle opener. Dog tag. Got stationary cards. I got like a, about a hundred of these. I I found them at Lighter Palooza 3. I I got about a hundred for four bucks. So thought that was a cool thing I, I usually for someone who makes a big purchase or someone gifts me something i write a nice thank you letter using one of these they passed these out at the visitor center back in the uh early late 90s early 2000s they said the penny never spent on a zippo i passed these out as well just as goodies for people who buy things from me here's another pen 65th anniversary Got some postcards. A lot of this small stuff has been given to me. You know, like we got Zippo, Zippo golf tees. And one thing I started, not necessarily collecting, but started gathering is these Zippo pins. I saw this guy in at Lighter Palooza 3. His name was Top Hat Tom. And this dude had like a top hat. I mean, I'm talking about, you know, 1865 top hat with about 200 300 pins on it i didn't have the opportunity to uh, have a conversation with him i wish i did i wish i got him on camera uh, but his name was top hat tom really cool dude and he had at least 200 pins on that hat probably even more that's not a zippo pin that's uh from one of my good friends in kentucky gave that to me but just zippo cars zippo swap meet case nice little zippo emblem so just a, a lot of cool a lot of cool pens so i had duplicates and so I, I gift out the duplicates usually but hey i've uh, if i ever come across any more zippo pens i'll add them to my little stash here so i, I like this one this is a multi-use the flame kind of flicks. Zippo blue. Another springy flame. So those are Zippo pins. Really, I, I, I like Zippo pins. I, I need to find something to uh, pin them to, like a, a one of those pin books or wh whatever you call them. So... And that's, that's about it. That's about all the non-lighter Zippo items that I have. I made a mess in the process, so I, I got a lot of cleaning up to do. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe you have something that I don't, and let me know in the comments. I hope this points you in the right direction, because I know as Zippo collectors, sometimes it's hard to find some of those non-lighter Zippo items just because you, you don't know what you're searching for. So hopefully this video inspired you or pointed you in the right direction. So if you have something that is cool, that is a non-lighter Zippo item, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is J.R. Lights. We'll see you on the next one.